A cute red squirrel in a nature reserve in northeast England waits for me to leave the area so it can return to the feeding station below and grab some nuts. It doesn't know it, but it has much to thank the field sports community. In most of Britain, the animal would be grey and probably not so wary, having got used to living off humans who wittingly or unwittingly supply them with food. A lot of my neighbours have squirrel-proof feeders. Well, I don't because I want the squirrels to come here so I can remove them. David Allen is one of the thousands of volunteers across the UK, many of them shooters, who have a passion for our native red squirrels. The only way to save them, the volunteers realise, is killing invasive greys. That's where shooters step in. Occasionally people will roam around trying to find a, a grey squirrel, but that, frankly that's the idiot way of doing it. The way to do it is actually to bring them down to a place which is safe. And you do that by using a simple squirrel feeder. You have a jar in there with nuts. The squirrel will very quickly realise that there's feed inside it and they will lift the lid and pick a nut out and then they'll come and sit on the ledge um, enjoying their meal. You know it's a free meal for a red, last meal for a grey. Not everybody has to go out and shoot a grey squirrel. Many of the groups have a trap loan scheme so they will lend traps for other people to do the trapping. They do huge amounts of damage to trees. The grey squirrels will go in there and cause damage, they'll weaken the trees and then more disease can come in. So if the grey squirrel doesn't in, it actually kill the tree by doing um, ring barking the tree, it will be diseased and you'll end up with a good woodland full of firewood rather than uh, commercial timber. Grey squirrels are cute if it's the only thing that you see on, on, in your garden and I, and I can fully appreciate that and most of us do. So it's very difficult for us to go down to say Hyde Park and say let's get rid of all these grey squirrels. But when you realise how much damage, for example, grey squirrels, um, the parakeets have done in London parks, um, th there's no wildlife left there. Thanks to the determination of red lovers, they are now thriving. We started off 30 years ago doing it all very quietly and didn't really advertise what we were doing. Now we're out there, we're well organised, well supported, we've got good communications and we're recognised. There are groups that are actually coming together right across the UK of people that are passionate about seeing the red squirrels um, established across the UK and so they will actually, they're starting now to coordinate themselves to actually control the grey squirrels within their own area. We've got Anglesey, which is now predominantly a red squirrel area following the removal of grey squirrels from Anglesey. And so they, they've got buffer zones now spreading out from Anglesey. Um, so that's what can happen if you keep the greys down, um, just let the reds thrive and survive. But there are signs of opposition to the red resurgence. It's anecdotal, but all of a sudden, if a grey squirrel suddenly appears um, in Anglesey, it's got to have arrived there from somewhere. Now, there's a possibility it may have come across the Menai Bridge, but if it suddenly appears sort of five miles into Anglesey from, a, from an area where it's been free from grey squirrels, where we've got predominantly red squirrels, then you will actually, you know, you, you've got to say, well, how's it got there? The chances are it may just be somebody who's wanting to upset the apple cart. When you're out doing grey control, the last thing you want to do is to be confronted by people who um, have a different point of view and want to express it quite forcefully. Um, so we just have to be careful. Another problem is government. An enormously expensive plan to create a northern forest from Lancashire to Hull could end in disaster, says Foote. If authorities don't recognise greys a pests, that need to be controlled. There has been a lot of talk about the northern forest and they are going to spend a huge amounts of time and effort and money planting these trees and if they don't get grey control along with it they will lose the trees, they will lose the, the investment that they're putting into it. Many millions and it's coming from landowners, it's coming from councils, it's coming from big organisations. So there's a lot of money going into that. Um, but it's going to be a waste of time unless they get the grey control. Despite government reluctance to embrace grey squirrel shooting, Foote concedes the future looks bright. 
in the past, the projects that um, put in for funding never really put a contingency in there of success. And now we, they really need to put a, a successful contingency in there.